What's up, YouTube? It's this is your boy, Big Metroid Fan 12, coming to you with another video game review. And this time I'm reviewing Mappy Land that was released on the NES by Tatsukai. And, uh, Jose, I think I pronounced that second one right in the, in the both of them right. But it is a, um, sequel to, um, the arcade game Mappy Land. Uh, that was made by uh, Namco, and the plot is that of uh, Mappy, who was a cop, a mouse cop, who bought um, some birthday presents for his girlfriend, Map, Map, Map Eco, I think I'm pronouncing that right, uh, for her party, and, um, and now Amco pretty much stole all the uh, gifts and then just spread them out throughout Mappy land, now he, Mappy had to get them back. Now, Mappy Land has uh, four levels on them, and each of them has, like, eight um, sections to them. And after you complete the eight section, you have a bonus level where you have to find a particular item. Now, in the first section is cheese. The second uh, uh, bonus level is a um, ring. The third level, the third bonus level is a, a Christmas tree and um, a base in a baseball for the um the last um, bonus section. I'll be honest with you. These three these items has pretty much no connection with the plot where well it is what it is. It's it's probably it's, it's, it's just something that uh, pretty much occurred to me and it's not worth like really harping on, you know what I'm saying? Now uh, with these stages in Mappy Land they pretty much um loop Back to the uh, first uh, first level after you complete the um, the, the fourth uh, fourth story and stuff, and they are like pretty much the distractors in the game. Pretty much fish, golf clubs, boxing clubs, and circles with um, lines. Now, um, with these uh, distractors, they have like different things they that they do to the enemies, I'm not going to put a lot of emphasis on them, but mainly because they don't kill them. Now, um, like once you get, like, the red ring in the bonus level, in the second bonus level, Mappy and his girlfriend get married, um, they, you get the Christmas tree, you celebrate Christmas, and you, um, celebrate Mappy Jr.'s birthday party once you get the baseballs, like, again, it really has no connection to the plot, and that was, to me, that was, guess, I guess there's no reason to put them in there, you know what I'm saying, but other than that, this is, overall, this is a decent game, you know, now, as far as the, the set side design and graphics go, they're, they're pretty decent with, with good color, color palettes and, um, uh, sprites, but, they honestly haven't aged well. The controls are okay, but you honestly like don't have any weapons to really like defend yourself. The only thing you got are the distractors, distractors rather. And you do um use the um the trampolines to do like do like run from the um enemies who are cats. You know what I'm saying? But if you bounce on them like two or three times, it will like the trampoline will break and you fall in, and you pretty much fall into a pit. You know what I'm saying? So the graphic, the uh, controls are okay, but you don't have have any like main weapons to really defend yourself. And as far as the um, soundtrack is concerned, it's pretty decent overall. But pretty much like the design and um. The uh, design and graphics, they haven't aged well. Now, for the most part, o overall, Mappy Land is a um, decent game, even though it does have flaws. And I do pretty much recommend it to uh, retro f retro gamers and um, YouTubers, who, YouTubers who do Let's Plays on their uh, channel and stuff. Uh, as far as the score is concerned, I definitely give it a 7 out of 10, you know. With that being said, if you like, uh, if you play Mappy Land, you pretty much like it from an overall standpoint. 
You can mention it in the comment section. If you like my review with Mappy Land, don't hesitate to click the thumbs up button. And don't forget to subscribe. This is your boy, Big Mentor Band 12, signing off.